Hi everyone, my name is Heather. Thank you so much for tuning into another video. Today we're tackling a lot. We are going to start with reorganizing the pantry. So first step in reorganizing, in my opinion, is just take everything out so you see what you have. Okay, now that we kind of have a clean slate, it's time to put everything back that we're gonna keep and kind of organize it better. So I like organizing, I enjoy it, but at the same time, did you see my pantry before? I mean, how, how could I say I really like organizing, right? It's one of those things that I love it when it's done, but I don't do it enough or I don't keep up with it. So things end up kind of going back to the way it was. I don't know if anybody can relate to that, but with, you know, kids and rushing and sometimes you do a big grocery haul and you don't put something back where you know it should go and then before you know it, everything's a mess again. So it just feels really good to take some time and just get it all done. Okay, this position is called second guessing yourself when you stand and stare at something that you've organized. And I do this all the time, especially with my pantry. I don't know if it's just because of the limited space that I do have, but it's hard to find a balance of kind of what's the most functional, best place for things to go. And you know, I like to put the snacks where the kids can get them, but at the same time, when my kids see like new snacks, it's like they haven't eaten in three weeks and they're like starving little baby animals. So it's just, it's hard to decide sometimes. But this is what I came up with, at least the first version of it. And I liked it, but when I got up there, I didn't like how exposed all the baking stuff was, especially. I just thought it made it look really, really cluttered. So I ended up coming back and taking it out and switching a few things around. So I, I like it better the second version that I did. I think it's better, a little bit more functional, and I think it just looks better having sort of the, all of the baking necessities kind of blocked a little bit by a, a less transparent bin. Got nowhere to go now. We just sleep on the couch. No place to call home now, but I'm sleeping so sound when you stick around. Grew out of our hometown Cause the city's so loud I was going to drive out to see what the lights out to want to be found
Okay guys, here is the pantry. I know it might not be Pinterest worthy, but I am super happy with it. I think it looks great and it is so much better than it was before. So now we're moving on to the entertainment center. Now this entertainment center has, you know, seen better days at this point, <laughs> but we're going to get all of that fixed and all of that ready. And I just wanted to say that looking at this, finally doing this is feeling so, so good because I've looked at it so many times and just been like, not today. It's not going to happen today because I didn't have the right attitude towards it. And I just wanted to talk about attitude and perspective for just a second because it's so important. I mean, you could look at life in so many things in so many different ways. Like you could think we're a family of four with a dog living in 950 square feet. I mean, oh, I could never do that. That would be, that would be so hard and stuff would just be everywhere. Or you can look at it as, wow, we're so thankful that we have a family of four, that we have a great dog and that we have a place to call home and a place to live and a place, a place to clean. So going through, you know, kids toys might not sound like the most fun thing to do, but if we just do it from an attitude of love and gratefulness that, wow, look at how blessed my kids are to have so many things that they get to then declutter them and give them to other kids. That's, that's so awesome. So I just wanted to come on here and just let you know that if we do things from, from a place of love and gratitude and positivity, everything is going to be better. Your whole life will change if you just try to be more positive. Okay, now that we are all cleaned and decluttered, well, at least on the bottom half of this entertainment center, um, I'm putting up some glass shelves that actually came with our whole entertainment center. Now, this is a system from Ikea. I believe it's called the Beska system, but you could arrange this however you want. Some people don't have side shelves. Some people just have a top and a bottom or some people just have side shelves. Um, you know, it, it's customizable but they did come with these glass shelves and I'm pretty proud of myself for putting these in because I have a very handy husband and I am not handy whatsoever when it comes to tools and things like that. So I did get the shelf up. It, it took me probably 10 times longer than it would have taken him, but I was pretty proud of myself. I'm not the same since last you saw me. 
Roommates think I've lost my mind. I kind of freaked out when you called me. And if I sound insane, I'm sorry. But I haven't slept three nights. Cause kissing you is like sipping coffee. I said I won't ever text you with the emoji. So I am really usually not a lover of faux plants like this. And I am even more if not a lover of faux plants after seeing the price of them. They are ridiculously expensive everywhere. So I just thought that's not gonna happen. So I went to the 99 cent store that we have around here and I found this vine for, so I have three of them at 99 cents each. And then I got these um, little pots for, I believe they were $1.49. And I just took some rocks from my front yard and made my own little faux plant. And I think they turned out actually really cute. And since it was behind glass, it's not like you see them. So they need to be like so detailed and perfect as ones that you would pay, you know, 15 to $25 for at Target. And what this cost me less than $3.50 a plant. So it was worth it. Now look at me, doing things I never do Been over like a fool, yeah, yeah Addicted to the way you move, I'm breaking all my rules Look at me, saying things I never say Dancing in the pouring rain, yeah, yeah And I know I sound cliche, but I love the way I'm not the same around you Showing up late to every party You got me losing track of time. Really quickly, I just wanted to show you guys this book. It's by Anne Voskam, 1000 Gifts. It will change your life. It's all about kind of what I was talking about earlier with perspective and just being so grateful and finding things to be thankful for. And it, it truly is like a very transformative book. Yeah, that was the old me. Now look at me, doing things I never do. Tripping over like a fool, yeah, yeah. Can think of anything but you, I'm breaking over. While we're on the subject of thankfulness and gratefulness and gratitude, I just wanted to say that as of today, I think I have 26 subscribers. And I am so thankful for all 26 of you. I know that in the great grand world of YouTube that might just seem like nothing, but I'm so thankful to to have that. I'm just so thankful that you guys have chosen to even watch my videos. So I just wanted to say thanks and just to let you know that I'm really grateful for you. to get some more updated photos of them for the entertainment center printed and framed. It's just that time goes by so fast and I'm okay about getting their pictures taken. It's just when it comes around to ordering them printed, it sometimes it takes me forever. I'm not the same since last you saw me. Roommates think I've lost my mind. I kind of freaked out when you called me. If I sound insane, I'm sorry, but I haven't slept three nights. Cause kissing you is like sipping coffee. I said I won't ever text you with emojis. It won't be the one. Okay, now we're gonna get started on another DIY decor project. I follow a YouTuber by the name of Fearfully Created. Her name is Marina. And she had this video where she found this sign from, I think she found it from Ross. And it's one of the signs said, God is good all the time. And the other one said, all the time, God is good. And I was like, oh my gosh, we say that all the time, my daughter and I, and you know, our family. And so 
I looked for it at Ross, but I can't, I couldn't find it anywhere. I mean, she lives in Tennessee, so I don't know what, if they get different stuff in different locations or whatever. But I thought, I think I can make that. And I had this round piece of wood left over from making signs with my Cricut. So I asked my husband to cut it in half and I just thought on one half I'll put all the time or I'll put God is good all the time and the other half I'll put all the time God is good. So I just hopped on my Cricut and you know picked some fonts that I liked and printed them out and I think the sign actually came out really good. Been over like a fool, yeah, yeah. Addicted to the way you move. I'm breaking all my rules. Look at me, saying things I never say. Dancing in the pouring rain, yeah, yeah. And I know I sound cliche, but I love the way I'm not the same around you. Showing up late to every party. You got me losing track of time. It's been a month of redefining. Now I, I swear I hardly recognize me from the day I called you mine. And you broke down the walls inside me. Whoa, before you knew me, I was ripped jeans and cold feet, scared to wear my heart on my sleeve, feeling so empty. Yeah, that was the old me. Now look at me, doing things I never do. Tripping over like a fool, yeah, yeah. Can think of anything but you. I'm breaking all my rules. Look at me, saying things. I never this is the most challenging part on making signs with your Cricut, in my opinion, is just getting that vinyl to stick perfectly even to the wood. This sign came out pretty good the other one had a few little um bubbles near the edges of the letters so i did have a little bit of bleeding but i still really love how these signs came out god nowhere to go now we just sleep on the couch no place to call home now, but I'm sleeping so sound when you stick around. Grew out of our hometown, cause the city's so loud. I was going to drive out to see what the lights out to want to be found. Okay, here is the finished product for these signs. I'm really happy how they turned out and I think they look really good above the bookshelf. I just wanna thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope it inspired you or motivated you to think about your perspective or to get something done in your house that you need to. Anyways, I love you guys. I'll see you soon. Here's a quick before and after of the pantry again as well. Take care guys. Driving through